Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow peppers in Aerogarden Bounty Basic. This variety is called Lemon Drop. Looks like these peppers are going to look beautiful on the plant. Let's see how they are going to turn out here. It's going to be straightforward to start this experiment. I am going to place two seeds in each pod and start with two pods. I am planning to grow two plants in this Bounty Basic. Depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings later and keep only one plant per pod eventually. It's day 25. After so much waiting, I finally see a few seedlings. I see two seedlings in this pod and one seedling in the other pod. I recently started adding nutrition. A few days ago, I noticed the sprouts and I started adding nutrition. I added aerogarden nutrition and I will continue the same and I will go with as recommended which is 12 ml at every feeding cycle. It's day 48. The plants are coming nice. Interestingly, one plant is growing really good. It got really tall and it's also getting bushy. The other one, it started slow and it is also growing slow. But I am pretty sure once it grows a little bit, it will pick up the growth. So not too concerned. Now that the plant is growing nice and it started shooting out lots of side growth, it's time to pinch off the top and stop the growth of this plant. We really want the pepper plants to stop growing tall but start growing wide. So with this we can definitely pinch off the top just like that. Now this plant will stop growing tall or at least it will slow down growing tall but it will continue to shoot out a lot of side growth look at the new side growth that's coming that's really nice and even the side growth will come here so this plant will never stop growing but it will slow down growing tall but it will shoot out a lot of side branches all these side branches will pick up the growth and they get really good it's day 74. The plants are coming excellent. One plant is really outgrowing. Look at all these branches. It is really outgrowing and other plant is coming up. It just picked up the growth. So it's all good. This plant had lots of flower boards. Look at all these cute little flower boards. They are all over the plant on every branch. Since this plant started outgrowing, I started pinching off the tops. I really want to control the growth of this plant. I think I can let it just grow, but I don't know what kind of issues I'm going to run into. If they grow too tall, they are going to fall off just like this. So I'm going to control the growth of these plants. I'm going to pinch off all the tops just like this. Same thing, I am going to apply on all the branches. Cutting these branches will definitely lose some productivity. We can see lots of flower boards on these branches, but it is still worth controlling the growth of this plant. If the plant really goes out of control, that becomes even difficult. So I am going to remove all the tips like this so that I can control the growth of this plant. I am going to repeat the same process as the plant is growing. It's day 89. The plant is growing crazy. Look at this. It is really getting difficult to control the growth of this plant. But I am going to do my best to trim it down. Here is the other plant. It is falling off. I am going to add a trellis and give it some support. This plant is really going crazy and it is taking over the entire system and it is pushing the other plant down. Maybe I can just take this plant out and uh, continue this garden with uh, just one plant. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to pull out this plant. It is really struggling to compete with the plant. So I don't see a lot of value here. This plant is showing very good progress. Look at these flowers. I see a bunch of flowers. So this is really nice. I'm happy with this one plant. And there are a bunch of flower boards. So since one plant is doing really good and taking over the garden, I'm going to take out the other plant and uh, give more space for this plant. 
it's day 97 after so much waiting i am finally seeing a couple of baby peppers i'm really excited for these peppers to turn big and start ripening i really want to see that yellow colors i see lots of flowering so this is all going excellent it is going very slow but uh, looks like now it is getting into that productive stage i see lots of flowers and look at these baby peppers i see a couple of baby peppers one here one here so even though it is going very slow i think uh, it is just getting started hopefully it will pick up the growth from now it's day one or two the peppers are growing really nice look at this pepper here is one and here is one and lots of baby pepper showing up all over the plant lots of flowering so it is all going very well it's day 111 the peppers are coming really nice look at these peppers they are shaping up very well i'm really liking this shape now i see lot of peppers look at all these peppers so many of them one really good thing i did with this garden is i removed one plant and uh, kept only one plant look at this plant it became ginormous definitely i couldn't have managed two plants in this garden so one plant got so big and uh, it is going everywhere so it is definitely a really really good decision to remove that plant at the earlier days now this plant is thriving in this garden it's day 123 the peppers are coming excellent they are growing very well and the plants are loaded with peppers look at all these beautiful peppers since i'm going to use lot of green peppers i'm going to start harvesting them from now but i'm going to leave some of them to turn them yellow and i really want to see that beautiful coloring but i'm going to start harvesting from now on lot of these peppers are matured enough to use them as green peppers so i'm going to start harvesting the bigger ones like this and leave some of them on the plant but overall this is making very good progress look at this plant there are still lots of flowers all over the plant it is not stopping anywhere it's day 131 the plant is doing excellent there are a lot of peppers that are ready to harvest since i'm going to need a bunch of green peppers every day i'm going to harvest some of these peppers as green peppers but i'm going to leave some of them on the plant so that i can see them ripening very well and turn into nice yellow colors all right with that i'm going to start harvesting some peppers i'm going to pick some matured peppers this looks very matured so i'm going to harvest it here is one more coming nice wow look at this nice lineup so many peppers here so i'm going to harvest some of these peppers but so far so good look at this plant it is getting massive oh my goodness here is my first harvest i don't need a lot of peppers every single day so i'm going to harvest as i needed maybe two three peppers every day it's day 138 i am finally seeing a beautiful and colorful yellow pepper this is what i have been waiting for all these days and it is finally here i'm so happy to see this and i'm very excited and this plant is very productive look at all these peppers there are so many baby peppers along with so many matured peppers this plant is not stopping at all and there is still lots of flowering look at all these beautiful flowers and they are nicely turning into peppers and eventually ripening 
this plant is losing lots of flowers look at all these flowers that are falling off but compared to all the flowers that are surviving on the plant the flowers that falling off are really nothing probably 5% of the flowers are falling off so I'm happy with this plant its productivity and the beautiful colorful peppers are really amazing here just one plant to cover the entire garden and it is doing really well in this aero garden bounty some branches are outgrowing and I'm cutting them but still it's not stopping anywhere it keep on going up and up so I'm just leaving some branches as is and cutting some branches anyway most of the plant is still under the lights and it is doing very well this light is very good the plant is being very productive and producing nice peppers i'm so happy with this experiment and with this variety i recently tested one green pepper it is pretty spicy it is spicier than the sereno pepper so that's really good for me i'm happy to use all these green peppers in my cooking i'm really excited to give this ripened pepper a try but I'm going to leave it a few more days before I give it a taste test I am hoping the ripened one is a little bit sweeter let's see it's day 144 more peppers are turning yellow here is the first one here is one more and here is another one so lot more peppers are turning yellow and the plant is looking beautiful while it is still producing lots of new peppers so it is all going excellent so far it's day 158 the plant is doing excellent and now it is loaded with yellow peppers look at all these peppers this is exactly what i have been waiting for there are so many peppers turning yellow and the plant is looking so beautiful and there are still so many green peppers that are due to turn yellow so it's all going excellent anyway i got what i want from this plant i really want to see these colorful yellow peppers from this plant now it is loaded with these yellow peppers so this experiment is a great success with great results and the plant is not stopping anywhere so i had to trim the plant time to time look at all the stuff that i just removed so this is a continuous operation every once in two weeks i have to do this otherwise the plant goes everywhere if i really want to keep this plant under control i have to do some trimming i can let this plant grow however it want to grow but i don't see any productivity on the branches that are far from the lights i know the plant will distribute the lights throughout the plant but I'm not really seeing much productivity on the plants that are outgrowing. I always see some flowering but they don't really survive. So I don't see any value keeping the plant outgrowing. So I do this trimming time to time to keep the plant under control and be productive. It's day 168. The plant is doing excellent and lot more peppers turned yellow and they are looking so beautiful and some of the yellow peppers that I did not harvest started drying up and this plant is very productive it is still productive look at all these new peppers it is coming up with while lots of peppers are turning yellow so this plant is doing really good I probably harvested uh, 100 peppers from this plant already and uh, it still has about 100 peppers and it is not stopping anywhere lots of flowering lots of baby peppers and lots of flower birds so this is very productive looks like it has longevity so it's all going very well here but i don't think there will be anything new from this point it's just a matter of let this plant do its job and i keep harvesting the peppers as needed i'm harvesting both uh, green and yellow peppers some of them are uh, very less spicy some of them are close to sereno peppers so i'm enjoying all combinations and it is going very well since it is going to be routine from this point i'm going to stop the video here 
but if you really want to start with any paper if you are growing a peppers for the first time i highly recommend to start with this pepper variety just to start with just one plant that plant will take over the entire garden and use aero garden bounty or bigger definitely the harvest model is not going to work for this variety all right that is all for now thanks for watching and happy aero gardening